it's really important to when uh, using molecular networking to use something other than Safari so either Firefox or um, I don't know the other browsers but you need to use um, Firefox in order to do this and today's uh, molecular networking tutorial will allow you to process your data and identify relationships between your data based upon their mass spectrometry fragmentation patterns so this tutorial is going to allow you to um, compare your data when you can group your data in less than six categories so if you have six categories or six groups or six treatments or less then you're going to be able to use this method if you have more than six groups or categories or treatments or data group sets then you're going to have to go to the advanced um, tutorial which will talk about group mapping and attribute mapping so the first thing to do is go to gnps.ucsd.edu and what you should already have is a username um, and password and what this what this tutorial is going to do is going to allow you to take data that you already uploaded on Massive, the public GNPS data server, which was covered in tutorial one, and use that data to perform molecular networking. So as seen in um, tutorial one or the first video, the Massive uploading, we can go to this link, this Massive data sets. And we can search for the data that you uploaded to GNPS or to the public server. So these are the files that I uploaded to the server. This is files A1 through A5. And notice that I converted them to a .mz XML, or you can convert to a .mgf, which is really important. Make sure that these files are converted from their raw original files. Okay. And this can be seen through another video converting data from raw to um, GNPS appropriate um, files. So again, this is the data set that I uploaded onto the GNPS massive free server right here. And what we want to do is remember this ID. So again, we can go to this massive data set search or we should get a number as soon as you upload it to the massive and you're going to want to copy this. Then what you want to do is Go back to the main page and then we can now begin the molecular networking. So molecular networking, select, that's what we want from the workflow. You can do other stuff if you want, but this one is molecular networking. I'm going to call this coral, algae, molec. Okay, and this is where we're going to upload our files. So again, if we can categorize our data into six treatments or less, we can use this method and we're going to upload and select the files we want to input. So I have five files and I want to upload all these five files and they're going to be their own separate group. So we're going to select input then this is where we're able to upload our different groups or treatments. So for me my groups one through five what they are is groups one through three are coral samples that don't experience invasive algae encroachment and groups four through five are groups that encounter invasive algae on the coral surface. So how do I get my files from the massive data sets that we've seen back into our molecular networking? I want to share the files. So again, that ID that you had to remember, I'm going to paste it. This is my data set that I uploaded to massive and I'm going to share it with myself by importing it. It should go here, import data share files. And then when we go back to our selected input files, we should see it right here. And now I'm going to open it up and I can see in my spectrum the coral samples I uploaded, which are the same as these files that I uploaded to Massive. Okay. So, again, I'm going to have A1 as my first group, A2 as my second, and so on and so forth. And after these are upload it onto my spectrum files and select I'm going to finish my selection close this window oops okay so this is just to double check you want to see one file is uploaded here now I have something going on I have zero files in one folder so I need to go back 
look at this. I have an error here, so I have to treatment four needs to be uploaded. Finish selection should have corrected that. Okay, now I have all files in each of my groups that now I can visualize through molecular networking. So these are different parameters that you can alter in order to manipulate how your molecular network looks. I'm going to just plug in some of the default parameters that I use, but I would highly recommend that you review the documentation in order to identify the differences between manipulating any of these different parameters, which will ultimately have different consequences on how your molecular network will be visualized within the Cytoscape program. So I'm going to put this to 1. Um, I'm going to put this to 0.65. I'm going to change this to 4. Top 10, minimum cluster 2, run. Um, again, group mapping and attribute mapping will be covered in the advanced molecular networking tutorial video. Um, I'm not applying a library, which you can add if you want to incorporate a library into molecular networking. You would have to have uh, shared a library or shared another um, data set with the appropriate ID. I'm not doing that in this one. And that's pretty much it. So we'll call this tutorial. And then you submit this. So this is the job status page. What will happen, it will give you the status report saying that it's running. Um, if you have something that's failed, then that's an error that's either in your data set files or that could be something in regards to the parameters you selected. So depending on the amount of data you have, then it's going to take longer or shorter. So again, we can look back at these are my different groups. My G1 is also called Spectrum Files. Group 1, Group 2, Group 3, Group 4, Group 5. Again, I categorize my groups into 1 through 3, healthy coral that aren't experiencing any invasive algae encroachment. Groups 4 through 5 are mass spectrometry data sets that I collected from samples that experience invasive algae encroachment. And this is going to take some time. Um, so this week. Okay, once your data has been completed, you should get this page where it says done, and now you can either do some other things where you can do what's called cloning, which it takes all the parameters that you set up, and you can change them around and do another one or whatever, but if you go back to your jobs, you can see that this was the last core algae molecular networking tutorial. It was just completed. You can go to the status, click done. What you can do is you can, um, what you want to do is you want to go to group by spectrum spec nets. So you want to click on this, and then you want to go to download. Okay, and you're going to want to download all these files. So you're going to save as something. And you're going to go to wherever your downloads are. And this is the file you're going to want. Okay. So this now becomes the data set files that you're going to use for Cytoscape. Um, you've completed the molecular networking portion of this tutorial. And we're going to now go on to how to upload your files or visualize these files that contain all the information to visualize your data sets in a molecular network in the next tutorial. Mahalo.